Yo, what is up guys? I'm here with a very special unboxing, but before I begin, I do want to apologize for the lack of videos. Um, I know I promised to upload a lot, but school just kind of got in the way, and yeah. Anyways, let's move on to the unboxing. So as you can see, I have Beyblade Evolution for the Nintendo 3DS, obviously. And yeah, let's take a look at the front, or cover, whatever. So it includes a Wing Pegasus. Right here, so that's exclusive wing paces, 90 WF, Beyblade included. So that's pretty much the main reason why I got this game. It was on Amazon for about 10 bucks. It was incredibly cheap. And wing paces is pretty hard to get nowadays. Anyways, here we have Ryuga. He's looking pretty badass with El Drago Destroyer right there. Jinga. And you know, he's got his grip, but I don't see any big bang pegasus around here. Anyways, he's got some info about the 3D. And the title, obviously. And a sneak peek on Beyblade Shogun Steel. So obviously this game came out before the show came out. The side has um, Nintendo 3DS, Beyblade Evolution, some logo. Use side, same thing. Anyways, the back, it doesn't really have much info. It just says AR card included. And let it rip. Collect, build, battle. And yeah. So let's open it up. Okay, so here we have the Beyblade and the game. So I'm going to open the uh, Beyblade first, and then we'll take a look at the game. Okay, so before I look at the parts, I do want to mention that I did come with the sticker sheet. However, I'm not going to use it because it already has a tattooed face. But I'm going to keep them. They look pretty nice in my opinion. And yeah, let's move on to the bottom. This is white flat. It's a kind of blue marble color pretty nice it's an okay tip 90 we've seen this track on screw capricorn bakushin susano and here's the wing uh, core i think so i actually really like the design of it it's got these more like complex wings uh than big bang and it seems to be more jaggedy too so it's pretty nice and it is heavy uh does kind of resemble big bang in a way but it's just more complex and yeah, it's more kind of epic looking. And this is the frame. Um, so yeah, let's get in focus. Okay. Yeah, so this is the frame. It's pretty basic. It's just kind of like a ring with three outer kind of wing shaped things. And yeah, it's kind of hollowed out. Um, I don't know if the Takatomi version is like more heavier. It feels pretty heavy overall. If you combine this with the core, it'd be a pretty heavy part, and yeah, I'll be showing the mode changes afterwards as well. Here's the Pegasus Energy Ring. So I think this is a Pegasus 3. Correct me if I'm wrong. It looks like the one on Big Bang. So I'm pretty sure that's the same one, except just a different color. And I don't know if you could tell, but it does have the crystal, or I mean the metallic powder. So it's pretty nice. Uh, I think Kazu did a really good job. And lastly, here's the Wing Pace's face. So it kind of resembles the uh, Big Bang Pace face, I mean. And it's a dark blue color. I don't know what color the Takatomi was. I think it was black. This is just like a super dark blue. Still pretty nice. And unfortunately, it does have a... Its print is not perfect. It's kind of like misprinted a little bit. i just get a closer look right there. I don't know if you can make out, but there's a little piece right there right under the face and it looks kind of bad but it's still tattooed and it looks freaking epic but they did make a little mistake right there anyways I'll be right back with the Beyblade fully assembled and with the test launch so before the test launch I actually did want to take a quick look at the game uh, so yeah here's the game again or the actual box for it the back says the same thing so let's just open it up And a card came out, so this is pretty big for an AR card. Anyways, the manual, I'm not going to read it, I'm just going to skim through it. It's got some caution info, pretty cool. Anyways, the actual game, let's take it out. So here's the cartridge. I don't know if we can get a good look at it, but the cover is kind of bland. Anyways, I'm going to get my 3DS and just try it out really quick. Alright, so I'm back. I did have to uh, turn off the lights and everything to get a good shot of the game. 
Anyways, uh, I guess I'll start up. Uh, sorry about that. It didn't give me a notification that my friends were online. Probably playing Smash. <laughs> Anyways, right here it's loading Rising Star games. I'm guessing that's like who made it. Got a lot of company names right there. Sims, what the heck? Gonna turn it down a little bit. Kind of corny music. Okay, please enter your name. It will be used for Street Pass and Nintendo 3DS local play. Do not use any of this illegal, offensive, or could infringe the rights of others. Do not include personal information. Make sure you have obtained all necessary rights permission from third parties. Okay, continue. I'm just gonna type up my name on my 3DS. Gonna have the K capitalized. K E V O capital. Alright, once you put a name cannot be changed. Is this name okay? Yes. Active activate Street Pass for software. Make sure why not. Okay, yeah, Street has been activated, Street Pass runs automatically even after you exit software. Okay, continue. A lot of saving game data. Okay, base story mode. Try to become the baby champion. Bay battle mode. Mode where you can battle using fairy settings or use local water unless to battle against others. Bay factory mode. Check bay parts in Baypedia. Create settings and configure street pass in the settings database. Pretty cool. Bay story mode. Bay battle. Bay factory. So trial bay fat or bay story. No data. Think we have to enter another name? Keeps, keeps asking me the same things. Right. Welcome to the world of Beyblade Evolution. I'm Blader DJ, good to meet you. If you're a Blader 2, you should try to reach the top as a Blader at the World Championship. The World Championship is a contest that opens on the 50th turn. There's still plenty of time before the World Championship begins. I want I want you to try to make friends with all the rivals you meet by doing big battles and minigames. There are other tournaments besides the World Championship, so join in and sharpen your Blader skills. Okay then, it's almost start time. First, head to the park. See you at the tournament. Ooh, cool living screen. Select like destination list on the touch screen. Okay. Oh, there's only one to pick. Go to park? Yes. Okay. Oh, never seen you around before. I'm, just, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna change the settings on my 3DS so I can see it. Okay, it's already as bright as it is. Are you a blader too? Blah blah blah. The name's Jinka. Oh, it's Jinka. I say Jinka. Alright, Kelo, huh? Nice to meet you. Alright. Well then, let's get started. Huh? What? You want me to teach you how to launch a bay? Well, okay. During the countdown to your Nintendo 3DS system and aim where you want the bay to go. Okay. When the signal comes, pull the Nintendo 3DS system towards you like you're pulling on a ripcord. They're easy, right? Now easy. Seems kind of complicated in my opinion. It's going to be super hard to pull off on camera. Okay, yes, Galaxy Pegasus. Hold the 3D system level. A little late. What the heck? Okay, is there anything I do? I need to close the shot. Sipa, you win. Okay, so that's gonna be enough gameplay for right now. So I'll be right back with my usual setup. Um, here is the Beyblade again, and I did promise to show the mode changes. I'm pretty sure most of you guys know what they are now. I really have no knowledge on them, but I do think there's two different mode changes, or three. Because the arrow points right here, that's in power, you turn it again, it points in that direction. And then if you turn it again, it points in this direction, so I'm pretty sure there's three modes. I'm not actually sure what they do, maybe it just changes the weight distribution. I'm just going to leave it in that mode right there. I don't know what they're called either. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to test launch it. I did get my grip. And my 3DS is in the corner, so hopefully wing paste doesn't smash into it. Okay, got to relaunch that. Okay, that's enough of wing paces. Anyways, um, so the Beyblade's pretty nice in my opinion. Uh, so overall, the game was pretty cool and the Beyblade was nice. And I would recommend buying it while you have the chance right now because it's only $10 on Amazon. Um, it might be a little bit more expensive by the time you watch this unboxing or whatever. 
Uh, but yeah, definitely a good, cheap way to get wing bases and the game. Uh, stay tuned for another unboxing as well as more battles on the way. So yeah, until next time guys, see you guys later.